we used to estimate that about 13% of society that has HIV doesn't know that they're infected. That's gone down to about 8% now, but it's still not low enough. We would like to know that everybody who has HIV knows their diagnosis, gets connected to care, and starts treatment so that they can protect themselves and decrease their risk of presenting to others and infecting others. And the problem with HIV is it kills part of our immune cells called the CD4 cell. And that makes people vulnerable to getting infections as well as cancers. It can hide away in the body in a latent state for many, many, many years. And that's why it's so difficult to cure HIV. So people may feel fine, but they're slowly living with the virus that's killing part of the immune system. And by the time the immune system gets very low, then people get pretty significant and very serious infections and cancers. Our goal is to diagnose people before they get to AIDS, to diagnose them when they have very, very early stage HIV, get them on treatment very, very early on before the immune system is hurt, before the virus hurts any other part of the body, and before they can infect other people. Mm -hmm. And if you start treatment during HIV at some point in the spectrum and you're stabilized, the virus is suppressed and the immune system goes back to a normal level, every year we see a few more people get functionally cured of HIV, mm -hmm. which means they've gone through some kind of intervention that they no longer need to take the pills, but the virus stays completely suppressed. Mm -hmm. And at Mayo Clinic, we are doing research on HIV cure and there are several other places around the world that are doing this research, and it's incredibly exciting. And I, I wait for the day that we can cure most of our patients rather than treat most of our patients.